hello guys welcome to the next section in this session we are going to see how we can use the reval sweep swap blend commands to our paths okay these two uh, operations are very much useful and they can aid us in a lot way okay first uh, first we will see the reval option the reval option um, basically what is what it does is it revolves the drawn 2d surface 360 degrees or or with respect to the specified axis okay so here the parameters it requires are a 2d surface and the central axis okay now if we specify these two the revolve option can be implemented for that first we need to draw the surface we must initialize the uh, central axis okay let's move on click the front plane and uh, sketch it move to the sketch view first uh, we shall uh, specify the central uh, line for that select the center line i'm going to specify the line over here click the first point and click the second point now the central line has been specified now we must uh, initialize or we must specify the uh, apt to the surface for that i'm going to select the rectangle just just draw with any dimension okay now the center line as well as the rectangle has been specified now we can finish it okay now basic question what kind of 3d object can we expect when we revolve a rectangle 360 degrees okay uh, what kind of object we can get if we revolve the rectangle yes we will get the cylinder if we rotate or if we revolve the rectangle a rectangle or a square over 360 degrees with respect to the any with respect to any of the axis we will get the cylinder okay in this case have a look this is the central axis okay and here it is the surface yeah, there is a distance between these two so can we expect a solid cylinder no a hollow cylinder will be created because there is an empty distance between the set to between the axis and the surface okay let's witness click on the revolve uh, go to the placement and we must just, we must just select the sketch here yeah, the sketch is the square or the rectangle see hollow cylinder has been created how nice isn't it save the change this is how the uh, revolve works now we will see how the sweep works clear the surface okay for sweep 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 is also a very good option because uh, you think sweep what we can do is we can create the 2d surface or we can uh, uh in sweep we need to initialize uh, two surfaces the first surface acts as the pattern the second surface is the uh, object which we will uh, witness or uh, the second surface will trace the first surface path and creates a 2d one okay the first surface acts as the pattern or acts as the pathway and the second surface is the one which we will see or is the one which traces the path of the first surface and creates a 2d object okay in this case first we will specify the first one first first surface select the front plane and sketch it move to the sketch view in this case for the difference i am choosing a circle draw a circle and this is our first surface once it is finished click ok now select the sweep option see the pathway has been created and it is highlighted in the green color once it's been seen select the third one it is the create or edit sweep section because the first section first surface has been initialized now you need to specify the second surface in that case select the edit option once it's been created, move to the sketch view. See, 
the circle has been transformed into a line this is basically a circle if we roll over it see the circle circle has been created and it is being uh, displayed as a line in because the circle is visible as a line from the uh, side view okay now we need to specify the second object second surface uh, in this case i am also taking the second subject as a, a second object as a circle move to the start of the circle at the start of the circle you will get the icon as the square see in the middle it behaves as a circle circular one at the start it behaves as a square one uh, done we can conclude that this is the start or this is the end of the circle or, or the line in this case okay try a circle over here once you are done press escape and click ok see the second surface circle has traveled all through the path of the first surface in this case it's also the circle and created a new 3d object right how nice isn't it it is it resembles a circular tube or a hula hula tube like that click ok for a change uh, we can create the uh, we, uh, we shall select the first section as a we can also modify the diameter of the first section by this is a sketch one if you click the mini toolbar will appear the second uh, we will display a very large number of options in that the second one is the edit definition if you click on the edit definition the circle will the sketch will be displayed move to the sketch view and you can change the diameter accordingly for example if you click 450 the circle has been enlarged so that the sweep section will also be enlarged automatically you need you need not to uh, repeat the same process again okay this is the speciality of cat software see enlarge the sweep we can see <laughs> okay uh, now we will choose the first section as to be square and we will see how it affects clear the window okay now the first surface we have chosen as a rectangle now we will go to the sweep section edit the sweep section go to the sketch view now specify the second surface we will choose a uh, circle as the second move to the corner or start or end of the surface draw the second surface click ok see the second surface circle has uh, traveled the pathway of the first surface and created a beautiful 3d object it's like a four frame isn't it hmm. okay this is how the sweep option works now we will see the swept blend clear the surface okay now we shall see how does the swept blend operation work in the case of swept blend it combines swept blend operation combines two dissimilar objects and forms a new 3d part for example one um, for example uh, if you take a cylinder both the surfaces both the end surfaces are circle in the case of cuboid both the surface end surfaces are uh, rectangle okay but uh, in sweat blend we can uh, change to those two end surfaces into dissimilar ones for example one can have a one end surface can have a circle and the another one end surface can have a rectangular or a square right then sweat blend operation combines these two dissimilar circles and squares or rectangle and forms a new 3d object okay now we shall see how it does work uh for that select the suitable plane and click on the sketch and move on to the sketch view uh, as a first step we need to specify the line or which these uh, this 3d part travels so first specify uh, a base line 
or a center line we can say anything click ok now move on to the swept blend option under the shapes ribbon now we can see that the line has been highlighted as the green color and it specifies just that it is the origin for the operation once you are finished click on the sections and see whether any section has been created now the section one has been uh, formed but it is undefined <clears throat> so we need to first define it so click on the sketch model sketch view and draw the first end surface in this case i'm going to create the rectangle first click on the rectangle and make a rectangular sketch once you are finished with it now the section one is defined now we need the second end surface for that we insert a new one and define it by sketching move on to the sketch view and in this case i'm going to create the circle as the second edge second surface i have chosen circle now this is the main point uh, important one since these two surfaces are dissimilar we need to define the pathway for the transition of these two surfaces because uh, the first is a rectangle which has four corners but the second one is a circle which has no corners so in this case for the circle we are going to create some corner points such that the transition from the uh, transition from the square or the rectangle reaches the circle in a proper way so we can create uh, in this case in this case we are going to create four points that is we are going to divide the circle into four parts for that uh, under the editing ribbon uh, select the divide and make some four random points for the circle once you are finished with it press ok now you can see that the sweat blend has been created transition has been made from this rectangle to the circle right this is how the swept blend works okay now we practice the three new operations which we have dealt today revolve sweep and swept blend and don't forget to practice and implement your creativity and form other different shapes using those operations if you come across any any of the difficulties please let me know in the below section and we shall see in the next one happy learning this brings the end of the session bye bye